Sujata Paul, the Prime Minister, tells the people from the ramparts of the Red Fort, I sweat for you, I am from you, I work for you, I live for you. And in contrast, he says, the enemies of development are Parivarvad, Tushki Karan and Bhrashtachar. First of all, let me wish all of you a very, very happy Independence Day. And now coming to the Prime Minister's speech. Well, it was a political speech, it was an election speech, and the sad part is that today, when we should have been celebrating Independence Day as a nation, and, have, and the Prime Minister should have risen above party lines, he made no bones about the fact that he has not become the Prime Minister of 140 crore people. The reason why he kept referring to people as my uh, parivar, my family, is because the Bharat Jodo Yatra has rattled him and he wants to tell people that no, they, he considers people a part of his family. The fact is that when he talks about corruption, it is his government which is riddled in corruption. It is his government which has not shown transparency. You have seen what has happened to the RTI. Look at what is uh, what the CAG report has shown, the kind of corruption that has been happening in this party and the kind of corrupt people who have been taken in by this party, washed in that washing machine of theirs and projected as chief ministers, made chief ministers, made ministers. It shows his true colors. But when okay. he uses Charu the Pragya, report. Okay, Charu Pragya, the Prime Minister says that I work for you. The, the opposition says that this is not the Prime Minister addressing the nation, but this is a political rally that's being addressed ahead of 2024 elections. Good morning, Gaurav, and a very good morning to all my fellow Indians. I wake up on the morning of Independence Day with a lot of excitement. And as I have grown up, I have realized this is uh, fast becoming my favorite festival. I love celebrating my country. I love feeling proud of every wonderful thing that is happening around me. And I like knowing that, um, as Prime Minister Modi said, every single Indian has a contribution to make in India's story. And I think that's a beautiful feeling. On a morning like this, I want to begin by wishing everyone a very happy Independence Day. I don't think his speech was political. I think his speech was very clear and very hard hitting. His speech talked about our journey as a nation and his speech also talked about our vision as a nation for the years to come. He talks about India uh, in the uh, next five years. He talks about making us uh, the third largest economy in the world. He talks about how every single penny spent by the government of India is accounted for. How every bit of money that starts from the union government becomes a part of the development that it was supposed to reach and um, that's wonderful he also he also said one uh, very nice thing uh, which i was listening to and we've not made a reference to it yet he talked about how when we empower the poor of the country we uh, increase their spending power and that in turn empowers the economic situation of the middle class of the country it's a step by step progression and the entire nation rises as one he spoke about the contribution okay. of women in india's story i i I actually have pages full uh, of inspiration that I have found in his speech okay. and I don't even want to discuss anything that Miss Paul is saying this morning. Quite frankly, he's speaking to his people as a member of our family, as the head of our family. And uh, Rahul Srivastav, let, let's take this step by step. We will talk sure. about the new middle class that the Prime Minister referred to uh, and, and also go to Rajdeep on the middle class. But uh, uh, before I do that, Rahul Srivastav, key takeaway according to you. Well, Rajdeep said that uh, this was a speech with one eye on elections. I think it was a speech with both eyes on elections, uh, primarily because if there is a Red Fort speech, 15th August, one a few months before elections, if a prime minister does not use the opportunity, then one will wonder why. Uh, I remember that Manmohan Singh used to give a virtual account or a report card of what his government did and the criticism right after the speech used to be that Manmohan Singh's speech did not have that political uh, spin to it. Uh, people used to say it's virtually just a report card. So I think uh, a, a political speech 
from the red fort red fort is all about politics but the fact is what prime minister modi has done is done something very interesting one as rajdeep said that sense of uh, he has thrown the card on the table that if you don't vote me a mistake which was committed historically at one time thousand years ago one village was lost and we suffered for one uh, thousand years he is saying that this is that moment again because if you recall he said thousand years earlier and thousands in future we are standing at a moment in history which is very critical so he says that on agli baar 15 august par pragati ki safalta aur gaurav ke gaan ko prastut karunga then he is talking about a very interesting thing in the middle of his speech ki na hamare man mein koi shak hai na avishwas hai na 140 crore janta ke na duniya ke that was a reference to the no confidence motion that the opposition had brought very interesting uh, tones uh, by prime minister now in the in in lok sabha speech if rahul gandhi had raised raised the bharat mata uh, issue what he has said is a wonderful line in this which is very very directly linked to that ki ma bharti ki god mein jan jo hua hai wo kadam ab aage uthenge meri bharat mata urja से कि में ऊर्जा थी उसकी ऊर्जा राख में दबी हुई थी वो भारत माता जागृत हो चुकी है रिमेंबर दैट भारत माता कोर्ट बाय राहुल गांधी दिस इज अ पॉलिटिकल आंसर टू दैट एंड गौरव वन थिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फर्स्ट टाइम आई हैव बीन फॉलोइंग द 15 अगस्त स्पीचेस बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स सिंस 1989 और सो आई हैव नेवर सीन अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर मेंशन हिज नेम सो इफ देयर इज गुड गवर्नेंस इफ देयर इज समथिंग ऑफ व्हिच हैज बीन डिलीवर्ड and if there is a uh, appeal for future politics and future elections prime minister modi has personalized it i have never seen, i think five to six times he said the word modi modi committed hai modi, modi ki, ki guarantee, guarantee hai. hai so he is personalizing the whole thing so if the next election is going to be all about modi versus the rest i think a very interesting speech also connecting future growth possibilities and potential to the political challenges that he faces what are those okay. corruption parivarvad or tushtikaran these are child political challenges the bjp and prime minister narendra modi faces but what he is trying to tell the people that if you actually succumb for this these will become impediments as far as your future growth is concerned you know that, that point that the prime minister is in i on 2024 